Hey dudes! Hi! Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're doing something a bit more interesting, more special, because we're not gonna give you any tips or anything, but we decided that today is a good day to be grateful. We came up with this video idea that we're gonna do a, a small list of five things each that we've been grateful for since moving to Malta and that we're grateful that we experienced these things. To make it more interesting, we don't know what the other person wrote. We're gonna go through them one by one. He's gonna say one, I'm gonna say one, and then at the end we will have ten different things that hopefully different, maybe the same things that we're grateful for living in Malta. To start it off, I'll go quite simple and easy, nothing deep. Um, I am grateful for food. When we moved to Malta, I had the chance to experience a lot more different foods because uh, back at home when I lived with my parents uh, when I was a kid, uh, we mainly had only five to seven dishes uh, circling every week. So we weren't very adventurous, no one liked to try anything else, new recipes or anything. We'll show you so coming here, we, we tried different foods and uh, because of all the vouchers as well, I managed to uh, go to different restaurants and try things. So that also helped me to try the things myself and different variations of foods that I've never done before. So I'm kind of grateful because now I have a bigger library of recipes that I can cook myself and yeah, my life in food and seems more interesting now. I would agree that we have added some couple of dishes to our daily meals list. Uh, we are big cookers at home and so for us it's quite important to come up with things that we're gonna cook and uh, like you say from Malta we have added uh, things that we didn't like. For, for me uh, it's pasta dishes, anything with tomatoes, soups, that kind of thing we've added to the list. Yeah, even like the smallest, weirdest things like adding uh, peanuts to your pasta dish is something I've never done before. Pasta salads. Yeah. Yes, uh, I like pasta salads. So for me, the first thing that I'm going to talk about that I feel grateful is I'm going to go back from the beginning when we moved to Malta. And I'm grateful that we managed to come here and settle down. We made a video in Glasgow where we were kind of going over our worries before moving and so this kind of ties into that uh, when we were talking about how are we gonna get our legal documents sorted, how we're gonna get the long-term rent and how we're gonna get the job because for me it was uh, a scary part because we've been to Malta once for holiday and we knew that Malta has Maltese language and so we didn't speak any and for me back in UK it was a worry whether we're gonna find a job where English is sufficient enough where you don't have to communicate in Maltese because even uh, looking browsing through the job offers it uh, usually said uh, English and Maltese, like the both languages, are required for the application and so that was a worry to me. But I'm grateful that we came here and it worked out for us. Uh, and we could find a job and we could find an apartment and we could settle in. And now I'm moving on to my second thing, which kind of ties in with yours. It's going to be a little bit cheesy, but I am very thankful for my work colleagues and my job experience. Because when we started moving here, I kind of knew what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the same thing as I did back in Scotland. I liked my job, so I just thought, yeah, I'm just going to do the same thing in a different country. But uh, it turned out that I started working in quite a different field, uh, something I've never done before. Uh, and I'm very grateful and happy that I had the chance to work there and uh, work with my colleagues and my managers because when I started there, uh, I really didn't believe that I could do it. Like it was out of my uh, knowledge and I didn't know that I could do my job well and I thought like I'm probably either gonna quit or I'm gonna get fired. I'm very grateful for all my colleagues um, that were very patient with me in the beginning and taught me so much. So all the opportunities, giving me responsibilities and tasks that for me seemed way too difficult and I couldn't understand what I'm doing in the beginning, but their patience and their uh, teaching and all these things kind of made me a smarter, more experienced person that you can't really take away from a person once it's done. So I'm very grateful about that. So my second thing that I'm grateful for is the way we were able to weather the pandemic here and that we were able to keep our jobs 
that we were able to keep our apartment and that we were able to keep our income because at, at the beginning it was a basic worry of everyone's heads and it was like how are we gonna work what we're we gonna do for a living are we gonna be laid off what we're we gonna do in that case and it actually turned out that not that many people were laid off it turned out that most people were able to adapt and even if they weren't able to go back to their workplaces straight away they could take the time off and they got paid for it and it was something that we all hoped for but we weren't sure if it will go that way and for that i'm really thankful because it's the most important thing to get us going in the tough times like these where uh, the sense of security and obviously we had some savings already but uh, the, the thought about spending it all because the pandemic started and just go to uh, go back to square one with starting saving from zero and trying to uh, find a new job or trying to keep the apartment and the expenses going was scary and we didn't need to do that in fact we were able to even save more money than before because there was less to do we didn't go outside we stopped our uh, eating out spendings and that s spirit of ours actually got us ahead then backwards and I'm really grateful for that and my number three on this list is I'm grateful and thankful for all the experiences that we had and making me feel more alive. So let me explain a bit more about it. So uh, back in Scotland, uh, we stayed there for four years. I think in four years we managed to see maybe three different places in Scotland. But when we came here, uh, I think I, maybe it was the weather that was so nice or the fact that Malta was a bit smaller and you could go everywhere with the bus, but we managed to see so many different places. Then we made videos about those places. And uh, I mentioned this in a couple of uh, videos as well. But for example, when I talk about making me feel more alive, it's about the kind of more dangerous places that we visited, like Marsa Scala and uh, Blue Lagoon. A hike and a blue grotto all the places where there's high cliffs right next to the sea because when you walk there and as we said there's no railings usually and if you just take the wrong step that could be it you could fall into the sea on the rocks and it kind of yeah makes you feel that sense of fragility and how like I don't know your life is quite precious because we come from a country that's quite flat so when you go to the seaside, there's, it's really hard to just fall somewhere because it's all sand and there's no cliffs or mountains. So yeah, just going to these places and looking down to the sea where the waves crash into rocks just yeah, kind of makes you a bit scared, but also appreciate and feel a bit more alive. So my third thing is I'm grateful for getting to know more people. And so I was able to get to know new work uh, rhythms I suppose and different people different opinions uh, different life settings of all the kind of people and that helped me to learn about what other people think how they work what motivates them what doesn't and for me it definitely gave an advantage of learning from them and also uh, find out that I have different motivations and I've driven by different things so uh, in the corporate world people want to succeed get a manager's position uh, stay there for 20 years and retire but for me it kind of opened my eyes that uh, that's not the long long-term path I want to go into I have no interest to be more superior than others I don't crave to be in a manager's position I don't crave to uh, be the leader of it I don't want to tell people what to do and so for me that realization was like apparently this isn't for me and then what's gonna be the next thing I want to do with my life all right I'll come in with my number four and before I go very deep I'll say something just quite lighthearted and that's I'm very thankful for Malta beaches and water because 
Um, I've never in my life been a kind of water person. Back in Latvia, the water never really warms up. So I never was the person swimming with the rest of the people. I would be like just on the shore, on the seaside, just chilling there because, yeah, didn't find it interesting. But now uh, I've never swam as much in my life together as I did in Malta in two years because Malta has the most cleanest water that I've ever seen and it, in the summer times it gets so warm that you could not believe it if you haven't been here at least somewhere coming from the north side of the world I guess so I'm very happy because I swam so many times and I just really really enjoyed it and every time the, when the winter comes I just keep waiting for the summertime so I can jump back in that's it <laughs> My fourth thing is that I'm grateful for learning to save money and discovering that I can live on little. Even in the country where things are not as cheap as elsewhere, I managed to save 60% of my every month's paycheck and live off the 40% for our expenses, including the rent, the food, the transportation, uh, mobile phone, all that kind of thing. and. That gives a lot of independency and that gives a lot of confidence. For example, if you have a workplace that you know you don't want to stay anymore, uh, if you don't have that safety saved up for a couple months at least, you won't be able to leave it as fast. Uh, but whereas if you have that, you can just, you just quit and you try to find another place and hope for the better outcome next time. So I think it's really important not to rely on your paycheck to paycheck life and learn how you can cut back. Obviously it comes with the sacrifice, it doesn't just happen. So cut back on things that you don't find value in and get that money, put it to, towards something more meaningful that in the long term will give you the security that you're looking for. So there is a freedom in saving money and I think everyone who's ever felt lack of it will understand that there isn't a greater feeling than the freedom of being too able to know that whatever happens, happens you will be able to get out of it. Some of you who watch more of our videos know that uh, I had quite a lot of student debt. It was a really really tough mentally period for me because I couldn't sleep very well knowing that I owe someone such a huge amount of money but once it was cleared I think that probably was one of my proudest and happiest days I still remember that day when I sent away my last debt payment and now I go just a little bit deeper I am very grateful to Malta weirdly enough to COVID and all of the people all of you guys who have watched our videos and commented um, all of you because as many people around the world because of covid and everything over the past two years first of all i was working from home for most of the period so i was kind of alone for quite a while so um i had a lot of time to think about what's important to me and it kind of goes similar to i think you're number three so i was kind of happy that you mentioned it because yeah i had a lot of time to think about what's important to me, uh, what I want to do with my time, what I want to do with my money and my life in general, at least for the next couple of years. Coming from a country where the salaries weren't really matching the job that you did and then living in countries that where you could get paid more for the same job uh, was quite nice for quite a while it felt good to have extra money and that you could do more things and be kind of more valued for the job that you do but yeah at some point i realized that maybe the money isn't that driving point driving thing in my life because maybe i don't want to spend most of my days most of my weeks five days a week uh eight hours working uh two hours or more every day traveling to work and back all these things and then spending most of my money for rent just felt kind of like i don't know a bit of a ripoff so yeah i did a lot of thinking what i actually want to do and how i could do these things that i want to do i'll maybe not say right now what those things are that i want to do what i feel like my future should be 
but I will definitely talk about them in the future videos. So please stay tuned because there's so much more coming. So my last thing on this list is I'm grateful that I was able to spend July off work. Not all of you know that I quit my job in end of June, my previous job, office job. <laughs> and I was trying to find another job from then onwards because I left without another job. Um, and so I took one month to kind of think about things and finding a new job. And in the meantime, I had a whole July off on my own and I was able to enjoy Maltese summer, which is the best part of living in Malta. And actually when we moved here first summer, first, first year, uh, in the first summer I thought, probably would be worthwhile not spending everything uh, when we moved away potentially uh, it probably would be worthwhile spending a couple summer days off just to enjoy it and then this year it kind of worked out for me like that because i was able to take a whole month off and being in malta in summer without a job and it was great and i really liked that and in the same meantime in that July, I was not only able to find another job, I was also starting a new hobby. I, I started sewing because I finally had time for, for that. Um, and I was really happy with how it went and I actually made a couple pieces, a uh, couple clothing pieces myself and I can show you the pictures here and I was really happy to do so. Some of those took a long time to make and they kind of uh, filled the gaps in my days between searching for the job, answering calls or just planning in general. And it was a nice thing to do for myself. I just, I finally had time to, to spend on it. And then in the future, I hope to take that back and do it again. I think it ties in very well with two points that we both mentioned. First of all, you said that having savings, the importance of having savings, I don't think you could have uh, enjoyed a whole month off if you would live paycheck to paycheck, right? And uh, also the parts that we mentioned uh, that how much time we spend at work because we wanted to move to Malta to enjoy how beautiful the country is and enjoy summers, finally see some warmth and some sun. Uh, living four years in Scotland where it was very, uh, well, quite rainy most of the year. So we wanted to move somewhere sunny and summery where we could enjoy it. But then uh, in the end, we just pretty much spent most of the summers working anyway. So mm -hmm. like every year from starting from I think age 21 when I started working till age 28 I was working 40 hours a week I was never a part-timer every year since I kind of grew up uh, we spent at work and I realized that the money the work pays is not the uh, the value of my time and I much rather have my time than money and I much rather prefer less money and do what I like and live on the basic necessities and obviously all my five things kind of tie in together and that's why they had been sorted in this way starting from the one to five uh, because starting from the learning about uh, the third one learning about people and what drives people and learning that that doesn't drive me is a one point then learning to save money and live on less and only uh, realizing that my basic necessities are 40 percent of my income that's another thing and then the last thing was about uh, how I can afford to do things that I like and take time off when I need to rather than how the society norms are and to me it's freedom to me uh, not earning the full time wage salary is freedom and that's what I want to do I think this is the part where we're gonna talk more about our future plans because that was our five things or, or in, in total ten things we're grateful for. Obviously there's a lot more but then this video couldn't hold it up. <laughs> so we are happy to announce that we have created our Patreon account. Right here, link here somewhere, everywhere so that you can remember it. And on this channel we will be sharing 
more personal content like this one for uh, our thoughts and questions and maybe more interactions and more unedited version of our videos yeah. so if we're gonna talk about topics we're gonna include our awkward pauses and thinking processes <laughs> i don't know if anyone wants to see that but if you do uh, it's gonna be available there yeah uh when we make these videos we talk for quite a while they are usually 40 50 maybe an hour long most of the times so and then we reduce them to 15 20 minutes yeah so for youtube but um we can make longer versions if people would be interested in that less edited uh, with more opinions, a uh, bit more kind of personal content from our side. So if you would be interested in that, you could join our Patreon. Um, and then uh, we also have a mini announcement that uh, anyone who's been following us since summertime when we started teasing everyone about the big announcement and the big things that we're gonna be doing and why we were saving that much money and why we lived frugally and didn't spend anything and lived a very simple life uh, the big announcement is coming in the next video yeah so it's finally it's, here it's soon it's happening right now so you'll see this video and then you just have to wait just a little bit and the next video you'll see is gonna be our big announcement and you'll see what why why what it we, is yeah <laughs> all right so this is going to be the end of our video uh these were our 10 things that we were grateful for tell us what you have been grateful for in just any time recently leave it in the comments if you like this video you could leave a like if you want us to make more videos like this one uh click the subscribe button that would be great and we will see you in the next video bye, bye.